Sickle cell anemia, forgotten, but not gone. It affects 90,000 to 100,000 Americans. Sickle cell disease is a global problem affecting children, adults, families in the United States and all over the world. It begins with a sickle cell trait from each parent. Two carriers have a 25% chance of having an unaffected child with normal hemoglobin, a 50% chance of having a child who also is a carrier, and a 25% chance of having a child with sickle cell anemia. I never really thought about asking Emmy whether or not she had sickle cell trait or if it would impact us having kids or anything of that nature. But I didn't actually know that I was a trait and I definitely didn't know that Kelly was a trait. Their child, Alan, is born with sickle cell. Make sure you say your prayer, okay? Okay. That's right. I still want to circle self and I just really hurt worse than the other. The thing that you need to really understand about sickle cell disease is it causes pain, okay, and it, and, it, and it causes stress, and it's a very difficult and challenging illness to live with. Um, I became a totally different pediatrician when I had children, okay, because everything becomes real that you hear parents talk about, it come, becomes real. I have a sickle cell trait, but my ex-husband didn't, so I don't have a child with sickle cell disease, okay, so I can't really say I know exactly what it's all about. Marissa Rose and her daughter, Brooklyn, who was born with sickle cell. When she had the first crisis, it was like, I just, I was devastated. Um, her, she had sepsis in her blood, which is a blood infection. Um, she had like maybe 106 fever for about two weeks. She was in the hospital for about four weeks. And it was just a roller coaster ride. She was in agonizing pain, screaming on morphine. Nothing could console her. Um, and, and a lot of times, children with sickle cell, their their veins, because their their blood is sickling, their veins collapse. And so I can remember her being in the hospital maybe that third week, mm -hmm. and they were trying to draw more blood to, to see what was happening with the infection, and they couldn't get a vein. And I can remember them coming in saying, we're gonna have to shave her head. We have to shave the baby's head because we can't, all her veins have collapsed. The doctor, remember how they couldn't get your blood? Because they said it was thick, remember? And you were, oh, remember? That hurt, huh? Yeah. We have a project called Rush where we are trying to register every individual living with sickle cell disease and do a survey letting the, so we can let the state government know what our issues are, that, that sickle cell disease is a public health issue, just like breast cancer. We're trying to get sickle cell disease to be raised to the level of breast cancer. Sickle cell anemia, forgotten, but not gone. <laughs>